Grab your pencil and your paper. And turn on your imagination. We're gonna draw, draw, draw. We're gonna create, create, create. We're gonna make, make, make something great, great, great. We're gonna draw, draw, draw. We're gonna create, create, create. We're gonna make, make, make something great, great, great. We're gonna draw. We're gonna create. We're Hey there, artists. I am Steve Harpster. I'm a professional cartoonist, and I love teaching people how to draw. I have how to draw books, which you can purchase on my uh, website, and I'll draw a little cartoon on the inside cover for your book. So you can get aliens or dinosaurs or one of my favorites, the haunted uh the Haunted Creeps and Ghastly Ghouls of Spider Bite. But today, I'm going to show you how to draw an alligator. And it's really simple. We're going to use a lowercase letter A. So on your piece of paper, ooh, look at that. That's a really nice lowercase letter A. Yours might look a little different. That's okay. Everybody has a different way of drawing, different way of writing. So remember, we are not trying to draw perfect today. We are just having fun. First thing we're going to do, we're going to turn this into the alligator's eye. Now, babies tend to have bigger pupils or eyes. Makes them much cuter. So this is a baby alligator. So we're going to draw the eye right here. And then we're going to go on and we're going to draw the nose. A little ways down here, we're just going to draw these two bumps like that. Kind of looks like a three turned on its side. And let's add nostrils. Okay, looking good. Now we're going to connect the nose to the eye. A line here. And let's bring this down like that. That makes the eyelid for our alligator. And it's looking awesome. We can draw even another eye over here if we want to. We can draw a second eye here. And the pupil. And then another bump there for our cartoony eyebrows or uh, top of the character's head. Now we're going to work on the mouth. So we're going to start here with the nose. We're going to draw a line. I'm not going to make it perfectly straight. I'm adding these little curved lines to it with a curve at the end. And alligator, we can have some teeth poking out of its mouth. Now, you may correct me, maybe this is an alligator or a crocodile. I'm not sure. I thought alligators, the teeth popped out, but I might be wrong on that. <laughs> so, we have the character's face, and it's looking really cute. Let's go ahead and draw the back and the tail. So, we're going to start here, and we're going to draw a line like this. That'll become the back of our gator. And then... We'll draw a nice big curve line here and around like so. And there's the tail. Now you could make your alligator swimming in some water. Then you wouldn't have to draw the legs. You could just draw a little pond or some ripples. But I'm going to add the legs. So for the legs, I'm going to draw these two rounded shapes like this. And then we can put some little alligator toes on there. Let's go ahead and connect the bottom of the mouth to the front leg. We're just going to draw a simple line like so. And let's go ahead and draw a line connecting these legs together. That'll make the bottom of the body. And then we have a little space here. We'll connect the tail. So to make this character look a little more dimensional, like we added this eye over here, we're going to draw a leg on the other side. Of course, there's some overlapping, so we're not going to see all of it. And we can add a nice shadow in there. And some crocodile or alligator toenails. Even I'm getting confused. Somebody in the comments will let me know if this is an alligator or a crocodile, though, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and draw another leg over here with that shadow. 
These shadows really help the character to pop off the page. And some more toenails. And let's do some little spikies here on the back. Now one of my favorite things is adding details to a character. And for my alligator, one of the details I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna draw a few little lines underneath the eye. And maybe just a few little circles there to represent scales or bumps. Just a little bit of texture. And it breaks up these large images of the character, these large areas of the character, and gives the eye something to look at. Also gonna draw some little lines down here for some scales on the stomach and the belly. Okay, artists, I hope you had a blast drawing this character. Hey, if you love drawing and you wanna do some more drawing with me, I have uh, Harptooniacs, which are these amazing commercial free lessons. It is on a website. You'll get all these, uh, these lessons and access to much, much more. Plus, plus, you get story prompt pages and comic book prompt pages. So you can take these characters and you can make stories about them because at Harptooniacs, we believe every drawing tells a story. So I want you to check that out. There's a link below and you can go ahead and check that out. You can even sign up for a free lesson. That's right, there's a couple free lessons I'm giving away over there as well. So I hope you had a blast drawing this character and I'd love to know what you're gonna name your alligator. So put that in the comments below. What's a good name for your alligator? Hey, my name's Steve Harpster and I'll see you in the next lesson.